Good evening, everybody. I hope everybody is doing well in YouTube land, reborn land. Um, today was a rough day, very, very rough day. Um, I come to y'all with a request. Those of y'all that have me on Facebook, y'all know what's going on, kind of, sort of. I didn't... I don't like to to air dirty laundry. I'm not like that. I did, however, was pushed to the point of venting. And my vent was that it doesn't take giving birth to be a mother. Because I was told via text to my husband that, you know, how dare we try to parent when we don't have kids. And dolls and dogs do not count. Well... What you do when you do say something like that is you stick a knife into a wound that runs so deep that you could never imagine. So I pray that, uh, you know, you just, I, I don't wish for anybody to have ever experienced that. And I'm not coming here for pity. I'm just coming here to say it doesn't matter if you don't have kids. It's like a dear friend said, um, LaToya, is that anything that ha makes you have that motherly instinct, you know, um, you have children that aren't yours, animals, our babies, you know, our dolls, anything can make you a mother. And um, so <clears throat> it's been a very rough day. To make a long story short, I ask for deep, deep, deep prayers for my niece and nephews and for their mother. Um, they are moved out with body now. Um, their stuff is still here, but that will be gotten before the week is out, before next week. Um, and not by our choices or discretions but by the actions of um somebody i'll just say it like that that's not going to be tolerated in this house um the kids are not allowed to talk to us right now and i just want to take this opportunity opportunity to say you know we'll never stop loving them one day you know it may take a long time for them to understand the reasons why because you know, it's hard to understand as a child. And then, of course, you feel that loyalty to your mother. And, you know, so you can't, you know what I mean. It's just they don't understand, but they will eventually. And, uh, you know, we love y'all. I want nothing but the best for y'all. Just wanted to provide y'all a safe place to be. And, you know... I mean, I will worry till the day I die about all of y'all. So, <clears throat> I just asked for prayers. And I also wanted to say, um, those of you that do have me on Facebook, uh, like I said, I don't normally post stuff like that. I will be making a page, a Facebook page for just the Reborn related stuff so that the reborn stuff doesn't get tangled up in my personal life, but I just, I had to let y'all know about this because, you know, we were over the moon to have those kids here and, um, they will not be here any longer. So I just ask for big time prayers for them. And like I said, include their mother as well, that God enters her heart and, you know, her mind and, um, things got pretty heated you know, between Brandon and a certain individual and, you know, but when there's kids involved, there's emotions and no matter what, we love them and you can't change that. So I will let y'all know when I get the page up and running. But other than that, I wish y'all well. And I just wanted to show y'all little Sophia Joe, since uh, her other video seems to be messed up. However, I was able to play it on the other computer, and that was, I'm still dealing with YouTube on that. But uh, anyways, guys, I've rambled enough. So y'all take care and kisses from us.
and God bless always. Bye-bye.